the Freedom Rides of 1961 were not really the first Freedom Rides. The actual the first Freedom Ride was the Journey of Reconciliation, which uh, took place in April of uh, 1947. And it, it followed a, a famous Supreme Court case, uh, Morgan versus Virginia. Irene Morgan refused to give up her seat on a bus in Gloucester County, Virginia in July of 1944. She took her case all the way to the Supreme Court and in Morgan versus Virginia in June of 1946. On paper, at least, the Supreme Court struck down segregation in interstate travel on buses. It was on the basis of the Irene Morgan decision that we planned a trip in 1947. We accepted the advice from our southern friends that we would stick to the Upper South, where perhaps there would not be as violent a response as there might be in Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana. There were 16 people, eight blacks and eight whites, on two buses, Trailways and Greyhound. And the idea was to test compliance with the Morgan decision. Uh, to see if the kind of constitutional rights to sit anywhere they wanted on the buses would be upheld. They limited their travel to the Upper South, Virginia, North Carolina, Tennessee, and Kentucky. It didn't really create much of a stir to their disappointment. Uh, Bayard Rustin, who was one of the organizers, uh, was arrested in North Carolina and was on a chain gang for 22 days, but it, it didn't get a lot of attention. And James Peck was actually sort of surprised at how tolerant the bus drivers were, I and mean, they didn't really care. They thought this would be the first of many journeys of reconciliation, but actually the Cold War intervened, and most of them had to go underground essentially to survive and they really didn't, were in no position to mount any additional nonviolent direct action campaigns for many years. We did not, uh, at that time, bring a great change in, but maybe we uh, pointed a direction, and that was as much as I think we could hope for. 